Okay, I just wanted to show you real quick the situation now. Uh, you can see that we have moved in closer uh, to EVE. Uh, our satellite network link uh, is in a polar orbit around EVE. Uh, close enough to do the resource scanning. Uh, I did go on the far side of the planet away from Kerbin. You can see the, uh, the relay networks uh, bouncing the signal back to Kerbin. Uh, currently we do have a a lower signal strength that's a 62 percent because it is bouncing from one satellite to another satellite back to Kerbin. Let me kind of pull out here and show you what it's what it's doing. I've got a couple of these Joule satellites that are going to Joule are actually helping bounce the signal back. So um, I can still communicate and still get, uh, you know, signal. It does appear to be going through the planet. I believe that's just part of the game. The game says the object is this big, that the texture that they put over it, um, you know, isn't blocking the signal. So we'll just say that's atmospheric bounce or something, you know, going across there. Maybe it'll hit in the atmosphere and can get over there. Either way, uh, we've still got a connection. Uh, hopefully we won't lose it here in just a few minutes. But, you know, we're in a stable orbit. Um, Explodium C. We're over the Explodium C right now. Here's our satellite. Uh, I'm getting ready to turn on the resource scanner. You can see it kind of moving. You know, we are kind of close, but not real close. We're 312,000 meters above the surface of the planet, but we are traveling at uh, 2,847 meters per second. So let's go ahead and uh, deploy the scanner. Now, across the planet, there's an average of 5.92 ore. It's going to be less, you know, in the ocean. It's going to be more on land. But on an average, this planet has almost 6% uh, coverage on ore, uh, deposits of ore. Uh, let's see. Let's toggle the display. Now, uh, here we have a heat map of... Essentially, the red is the strongest signal, more ore. Um, we're in a polar orbit, so we're going to constantly go over, you know, and, and scan. This isn't actually, there was a mod that you could go, or that you could use. and It would scan just parts of the planet. This one scanned the entire planet all at one time. So once you get there, you can scan the entire planet. Um... You can see red is higher concentrations of ore. Ore can be mined and then converted into fuel uh, for your rockets. Uh, multiple types of fuel, too. You can convert the ore into multiple types of fuel. Just whatever you need, RCS or rocket fuel. Or, or um, uh, I'm not sure if you can do xenon. I don't think you can do xenon. But, um, yeah, here we are scanning. So you can see, let me turn down the gain on that just a little bit or turn it up a little bit because you can turn it you know down to where it'll show you um, basically you know it's low you don't know really where to pinpoint so as you turn up the game you usually get about 70 percent 80 disappears so 70 percent the red is going to be strong the orange not so strong uh, concentration of ore so let's take a look at the map now Basically, I would like to be on a equatorial orbit, um, but but you don't have to be. So right through here looks like really good uh, deposits of ore as long as it's on land, and I'm sure it is here. Um, you know, somewhere around in here would be really good uh, landing spots. We're on the dark side right now, but the planet does rotate. Um, I don't know how fast it rotates, but. Um, uh, that looks like a meteor strike right there from a long time ago. Uh, let's see. Let's get in here and take a look at Curbnet. Now, Curbnet is a uh, used to be a mod, and, and they incorporated it into the game. As I cross the planet, I I, I, I go over top of uh, biomes, and these biomes are. See, yeah, click, can't remember. Oh, Explodium C. So I'm, I must be over an ocean right now. 
probably over an ocean. Yeah, that's called the shallows. Shallows. So right now I'm over the Explodium C. And we'll set this to refresh every... It'll refresh every three seconds. So you can see how I... See how it's rotating. Now I'm over the shallows. I think I already got the um, science experiment for that, didn't I? For the shallows. Yeah, I've already got that one. So just reset that one. <coughs> Excuse me. And... You know, if, if you did find a good uh, concentration of ore, let's say it's red. Now, I, there's another scanner that you can put on here. I don't have it. I don't even know if I had the tech tree completely uh, completed when I launched this vessel into space. I may have, but I don't, I don't remember. Uh, typically, I'll put that scanner on a, on a lander or a rover or something that's going to be really low across the, just skimming across the planet's surface or, or, you know, just above the atmosphere. Um, and it will essentially give you a number. There'll be a number here. As you go over, the scanner will detect how much ore is down there on a scale from 1 to 10. So if it was showing 1.1 or something like that, that wouldn't be a good place to, to drill for ore. But, you know, something that might say 9.9, .9, that would be a really good place to, to drill. And you could you can mark a waypoint. See, it says I just placed a waypoint. So let's pull out. And you can see this waypoint would be right there. So that would be a good place to land. Oh, there's something over here. What is that? That's the shallows. But, uh, I've already got the shallows. I'm still over the Explodium Sea. But, you know, that would be a good place to land. We're going to delete that one because that's not a good waypoint. And so you could spend some time out here, um, you know, discovering what parts of this planet has a, a greater concentration of ore. You could spend lots of time out here doing that. Um, you can see the little bit of debris there from, remember, the back of the... There's the debris. That'll be there. I haven't deleted that yet, but... But essentially, this is um, the resource scanner, which is that uh, that large scanner on the front here on the top. That one, and this has a um, this control a pod right here. This control has a access to curb to curb net. This is curved net. And you can change the color. Let's see, I'm over the poles now. I've already got poles. Um, you can change the color. How long it, it takes to you know display it. I'm, I'm traveling kind of fast going around the planet right now. So Let's see if we still have a signal. Yeah, we've got a signal. Looks like it's direct to Kerbin uh, as well. So we got full signal, there's no bounce, and 92%. So it's 92% strength going to Kerbin there. It's going straight to the Kerbin Space Center. So um, the, the large antennas outside Kerbin Space Center is picking up that signal. Uh, we're still over the poles, I can't really send anything. But that's essentially Kerbnet. Uh, and and you can you can minimize or maximize the um, the field of view. You can spread it out over a, a, a large distance, like this right here. And basically, you know, you're picking up the whole planet. Of course, we're going over the poles. Uh, so it just you know it depends if you're going to how accurate you want to be. You you just want to scan just a little bit at a time. You can get these. Let's see what is that. That's still going to be poles. But you can put your um, waypoint anywhere you want to. Uh, and then you could rename it. You don't have to leave it as Zone 8 GHV or whatever. So we've got the scanner showing where the ore is. We've got CurbNet showing us things like pole. And the, of course that other radar would, would tell us you know, the, the density of the, um, the ore the, what do you call it, the um, concentration of that ore on there. Still yet, we're going over the poles. And let's see.
let's turn off the scanner here and make a look at the get a good look at the planet. And again, you know, if I had those other um, mods that gave clouds and things like that, this would you, it would be hard to see the surface because the atmosphere would be so thick. Uh, you know, unlike Kerbin, uh, where there's just nice little clouds go, going by. This one's kind of thick, so it's very hard to see through to see where you're landing. So, you know, it's good to have curb net so that you can see through the, you know, the atmosphere and, and find out, you know, where you are. Are you over the sea? Are you going to land in the water? Um, are you going to land on land? Is it going to be hilly? Uh, looks like I got some stored data in here. Let me see. Yeah, gravity scan all over the sun. This was on their trip to uh, here, so we'll keep that just in case we ever do send a um, probe or something out or a manned um, uh, spacecraft out. He can dock with this or you know do a um, EVA, go over, get the information, put it back in his ship. And then go back to Kerbin land. And so I'm going to keep this here. Um, really, it's not essential, but because uh, we we sent it back, you know, over a um, connection, over the connection here. Still got 92 percent. So yeah, we're we're doing good uh, right now. We've got this in the polar orbit. We're still waiting on those other uh, that other vessel to come in, that other ship to come in, and and. and drop off its three relay networks so uh, we're advancing here we'll see what the uh, future holds for uh, Eve thanks for watching